Not even set up yet. Not even started yet. And Boo is already starting. All right, so last week we talked about Khan a little bit. I do, and I, I really need to take more pictures than I did. Honestly, it was just tough. So, I mean, with the, the back issues and just all the things. So, um, I'm, I'm not coming down too hard on myself. But next year I definitely need to hopefully take more pictures because yeah yeah we need more pictures we need more pictures right and then I can here's my favorite picture that we took of Khan of my son honestly he's been amazing to watch at Khan with the autism and everything you would kind of expect it to be you know there would be issues and um he just loves it. He loves meeting the stars and he loves getting his picture taken with other cosplayers and all the things. So it's been a joy to watch him at con. At any rate, so we've we've done the con thing. And now let me just say we are um in the aftermath of con. We're actually past the aftermath of con. One of the last um, videos I did in our last session, um, I was down with what we call the con crud. It's just a general illness. There was no COVID, but it's a general illness. And because I have such issues with my um, iron levels, which, you know, cover every goddamn thing you need um, because I had such issues with my iron levels um, I get it I get it every year it just usually it's worse than it was this time so I'm thankful very very thankful that it wasn't it wasn't as bad as it could have been it didn't last as long as it could have but I am glad that's done so we are in the post or after the con usual con issues we're past the crud things are starting to get back to normal starting to get back to our usual routines you guys should have seen the last um, if not the last, close to the last of my um, garden videos. Because we are getting into that part of the season where things are starting to wind down. And so eventually that's all gonna, we're gonna have to put everything to bed for the winter. So we're going to be getting back to our usual here on the channel, um, minus the, minus the, um, minus the garden, but, um, might take me a little bit to build things back up, so. Just be patient, it's all coming. I am leaning towards putting more of art up because I'm really enjoying doing the art. But beyond that, things are doing what they're supposed to do. And we are settling into all that. Anyway, so the channel should be getting back to normal as well. I threw a whole bunch of stuff up. I didn't tell people it was up. Because <laughs> I was busy with the con things. And that's fine. 
but um, yeah, the only thing you're probably, well, the only two things you're probably not going to be seeing coming up. One is the garden, because like I mentioned, that's, that's winding down. And then the other is um, Taz's geek stuff. And that's pretty much because uh, we don't have a geek box for him yet. I have to look for that as well as for um, a new doctor for him because um, his behavioral health specialist has let us know let us know like a week before con so I could barely do anything to think about it but has let us know he's going to stop taking Medicaid I am very annoyed by this uh, we have next to no um, Medicaid people down here for some reason So it is annoying. It's annoying. But so um, I'm going to be focusing on that before I try to find him. That's interesting that it came out looking more red. I did dip in the right one, didn't I? Anyway, it's it's very annoying that um, I can't even. Folks, I'm struggling to find anybody to take this for. I mean, granted, like I said, I only got to look for maybe a couple of days, and I was mostly busy with getting ready for con. Um, but their timing sucks because it's going to, they're ending in November 1st. And so that means I have a, just over two months to try to find them something in a place where apparently there is not much. So, yeah. Annoying. Very annoying. Very annoyed. Very annoyed. wanted to give you all a little update on the channel. I wanted to do a little bit of art today. Art, this has become sort of my um, my place of joy to do this. Isn't that weird? I picked it up as a let's see how this goes kind of thing. And here I am just absolutely loving it a lot more than I expected. So, I just, I am very surprised. I probably shouldn't be. I did a lot of art as a kid. My mother was an artist. You know, kids, we all want to be like our moms. Okay, so we have two trucks that come in here with their bass blaring. It drives us crazy. But anyway, um, my mother was an artist. As a kid, I really wanted to be like my mom for various reasons. Now, I don't really want to be like my mom, but I am an artist. I do have that skill, I think, that gene level. would say that's in the genes or not but um, so I shouldn't really be surprised at how much I've been enjoying this because I have I've been enjoying this a lot and um, I'm thinking more than likely in the future I'm gonna do what I'm doing now 
and give you all some updates at the very beginning and then just get into my place of joy for the rest of the video. I hope you will stick around and watch as things grow, as it changes. I have to say, um, there are issues with this. There are issues. But I'm actually really enjoying it better than the other flowers that I was working on that were driving me nuts. Nuts, babies. I just started doing this kind of dabbing method. <sighs> and it is really helping with these smaller, smaller spaces. And it's not just a dab, it's kind of a dab and a push. Put down and give it a little push. It's so tiny you can't even see it, the little push. But that little push is what helps get the eyeshadow to stick. So I just wanted to give you guys an update of what's going on, um, where we're at, and like I said, I'll probably do the updates at the beginning of the sessions, and then just go into what I enjoy doing. That way you guys get a little bit of talking, but eventually I can just go into my thing, go into my joy. That looks a little better. I don't know if you all can see. You also have to let me know what you what you can see, because um, I suspect this camera shows things off differently than what I see. Anyway, so that is our update from Con, and we got a couple of little flower thingies, buds done. Um, I said everything after this should fall into hopefully fairly normal. Um, I wouldn't expect my husband back to cooking until next year. Um, we've got things we've got to take care of and it's going to keep us both fairly occupied. But we are trying. Honest. He wants to be back for you. I hope you all will go and watch his uh, hot sauce unboxing. Last I looked there were no views so his last video is a bunch of unboxings of hot sauce. If you like hot sauce, go ahead and take a look at that. And, um, yeah. That's where we're at.
siren what what's put in siren's uh food this time but apparently she she's been wild and so i've actually locked her out this time i'm going to try to actually get some more time anyway i think i told you guys before that these sessions are usually two to three segments depending on um how long the segments are and how shortly i feel i can um um edit those down and uh i'm giving you kind of a warning today <laughs> in an amusing fashion um it is it isn't freezing cold out here today but it is chillier than it has but i swear to you guys i'm not freezing um i re-dyed my hair today and i didn't I, I, in some of the previous videos you will notice that i said one of them i said that i've been having some issues with um, the dye taking, if, if you haven't seen it yet, it'll be coming up soon, I think. Because I did a bonding um, treatment before I did my dye, and for some reason, it just really affected how the dye affected my hair. Unfortunately, I ran out of gloves. And my son, who is the um, the uh, uh, Mr. Obvious, the reporter, saw my hands today and said, Mom, your hands are blue. And yeah, they sure are. They've got blue. I swear to you guys, I'm fine. I am not freezing to death. But my hands look different because of... Um, um, I did some... I did dye earlier today without gloves. I'm going to get myself a nice strong line in here. I'm going to tweak a few things up here. And then I'm going to move on. But I want to do some tweaking because I'm still looking at certain things. I'm still trying to figure out how to fix this one. I don't know if I can. I honestly don't know if I can. It's just going to look like a pot. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, moving right along. some of these little tweaks you guys may not actually be seeing in the video as well I have to you know you have to remember that um, the camera definitely makes things look different so we'll keep that in mind right anyway I am pretty happy with the tweaking I've done I want to do some more tweaking in here but I'm not going to deal with that today I'm not going to deal with that today this larger orange I'm going to leave till last I think I want to get through at least most of these flowers up here 
before I deal with that. So there's supposed to be some sort of blue in here. I'm going to try this. Hi, baby. I'm going to try this, and then I'm going to put some of this shade over it to help set. But I am trying because there's a line of blue in here. And see, this is going to be a bit dark. But hopefully... I'm going to flush this out a bit. Hi, baby. Hi. And then I'm going to take another blue and see what happens. Because it's actually not supposed to be quite that dark. Well then. I think what I need then. Probably. From what I'm seeing here. I may want to bring. Hi baby. I may want to bring my. No. No. Girly, no. Anyway, I may want to bring up the one I have of this that's more pastel so that I can go ahead and start with a light color. Stop, you little punk. And then I could darken the lighter color. What do you all think? I think that would work out better than this did. Stop. Stop! Without fail, guys. Without fail. She sees me working. She sees the setup. I think she's jealous of you all.
Oops, I think I rescued my pod. You'll have to let me know down below what you think. I think it looks more like a leaf now. Not, say not as good as this leaf. Not as good as this leaf, but it looks like a leaf now. It doesn't look like a funky little pod. For the most part, I think I'm happy. Yay! <laughs>
Anyway, so I think that's going to be it for today. I'm still tweaking a bit. But I think... I think... We're done. We're done. I'm happy with what I've gotten done. I'm going to try to finish off this leaf here and possibly this leaf down here off camera. So the next time, hopefully when you see me next, we will finish out this flower and get to this leaf in the back. Maybe. We'll see. Obviously it takes a long time to do these things. Which is why people charge so much for their art. I have. At this point I have no intents to sell. I don't think it's sellable. But anyway. Anyway. Hope you've liked what you've seen and you've been enjoyed the process and we've learned a little bit here and I actually learned a little bit here you're gonna go and play somewhere else um, basically once that pen goes down that's pretty close to it so I need to go down and pencil first and um, to be very careful with the colors I use for the pen so this came out I think a little darker than necessary but that's fine we'll fix it I think the white helped. And we learned lessons about this. That actually came out really nice for what I wanted. And we fixed a leaf. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. At any rate, like I said, that is going to be it for this session. And I hope you liked what you've seen. I'd love to get your um, comments down below. Or, you know, you can give me an orange heart or something of that nature. And in the meantime, I hope you will like and share and subscribe. And we shall see you later. Bye.